update three on Typhoon Knoll, which is now a Category 3 Typhoon for the first time with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 948 millibars. Positions 11.7 degrees north, 132.0 degrees east. The storm's expected to move towards the west-northwest generally towards the Philippines over the next few days and it could peak as a Category 4 storm before making landfall uh, in Luzon, we're expecting, and then curving towards the north where it may re-strengthen over the Taiwan Strait. So Taiwan and perhaps southern Japan may also um, see some effects from this storm, but the primary threat is with the Philippines at this time and that's what we'll mainly talk about during this update. That's the latest as of 2pm UTC on May the 7th seventh by the way uh, now a category three on the Sapphire Simpson Hogan wind scale um, and expected to strike probably central Luzon but will um graze the uh, southern islands as well uh, further south uh, like these two here Samar and uh, a signal one warning at this point as well um, as well as Katanduan is on the eastern side of the islands there that's as of May the 7th at 10 p.m. local time so that's where signal one warnings are in effect I expect that they will be extended further towards the west as time goes on but at the moment these are the first areas to be uh, under any sort of warnings from Pegasa we have uh, sea surface temperatures around the storm fairly warm, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. Um, even warmer as the storm approaches the coast of the Philippines, around 30 degrees off the eastern coast there. And warm also in the South China Sea as well as an aside there. Um, further towards the southeast where Tropical Storm 7W is as well, looking warm there. Wind shear is looking pretty good towards the north of uh, Typhoon Knoll. Towards the west, it is increasing a little bit and there are moderate amounts of wind shear to the left-hand side of the storm so that may interfere slightly. Dry air is a little bit towards the north and west of the storm but not a uh, really significant amount. It was um, possibly a problem not so long ago and uh, perhaps an inhibitor of its intensification but it has intensified uh, pretty significantly in the past few hours at least. This is the latest satellite imagery. You can see how it's developed in the past few frames. The eye, it's never really popped out in... Um, in earnest but you can see it, it it's, it's there you can see it uh, dry air off towards the northeast as well you can see by the lighter colors off to the northeast of the storm but that eye will probably come out in full uh, pretty soon it almost did in one of those frames anyway this is the Himawari imagery this was earlier the one of the last visible images from um, a few hours ago now and, and this is what it looks like now um, and slowly coming closer towards the Philippines. It isn't a huge storm uh, by typhoon standards, uh, so it isn't being felt on the Philippine Islands yet, but I expect in the next 24 hours that will change. As of May the 7th at 2 p.m. UTC, Invest 90L in the Atlantic has a 70% chance of forming, believe it or not. We also have, of course, Typhoon Null, uh, Tropical Depression 7W, it may be a tropical storm now, I'm not sure. And we also have Invest 94W, not too far from the international dateline, which may also develop in the next few days too. 27 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world. 17 of those have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes, or their equivalent around the world and 11 have gone on to become category 3 storms with 115 miles per hour or more. Noel is now number 11 which is already half of what we saw in 2010. You can visit Force 13 on any of our outlets. The website, force13.com, it's still under redevelopment at the moment. Uh, the new website will hopefully arrive pretty soon. We're doing it from scratch, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a job. You can also follow us, of course, on Facebook and Twitter, uh, Force 13 in text, at Force 13 on Twitter, and, of course, on YouTube. You're probably watching us there right now. You can also speak to me personally on, uh, on Skype at Fool13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat, that one in numerals. And we're also going live this afternoon at 3 p.m. UT. So that's going to be around midnight local time in the Philippines. Don't miss it. Uh, we'll be discussing the storm and everything else live. Until then, that's all for now.